At this point in time we're ready to route the rails, styles and panels for the four doors. This will also give me an opportunity to show you the Delmax lift system. An innovative system which has fewer steps, is much faster and is just as accurate as the conventional lift system. First of all, particularly for the benefit of newcomers, we will run through a few useful points on the rail and style system. Let's get started. Now with any uh, project, safety comes first. Uh, and if you're going to change the bit on the, the router table, uh, disconnect the power and use the guard and the safety goggles when the uh, router is in use. Now to change the, the bit on this particular lift system, we don't have to move the fence, we don't have to remove the insert, we don't have to unlock, we don't have to uh, use the cranktech system. All you do is lift, the lift is shown. Uh, we have access to the speed control, the uh, the cam lock, the uh, shift arrangement, uh, the hexagon nut, you just place the, the bit in the position that you want, uh, tighten the nut and uh, adjust the height and off you go. It's very, very straightforward. Uh, now I use, for the, for the uh, railing style system, I use a, a two, two bit router set from Freud and it's proved to be very successful. Now, what I do is uh, simply I mark the router bits one and two, and number one is essentially a cross cut. Although on some occasions it will do uh, not just a cross cut, but mostly it's cross cuts as shown here. And the reason for uh, I use number one first is that if there's any tear out. So on some occasions, the the second cut will remove the the tear out, but not in all cases. Um, let's see what we have here and also you must remember when you're doing this for all the cross cuts uh, anywhere actually you use the number one bit you have to increase whatever your calculator is you have to increase your widths or your lengths uh, by three eighths so three eighths here 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 and here all these dimensions have to be increased and the same with the the rail uh, this again is uh, using number one bit, so you um, have to add on three eighths for this length and three eighths for that. Don't don't forget that. Um, before you start, determine which face uh, you want and uh, mark the, the face of the the finished item, and that face has to go down in all cases. It doesn't matter if you're using a router bit number one or number two; it's always face down when you're using it. Uh, uh, I use a, a backing box uh, to, to, to also prevent, it doesn't absolutely prevent it, but it helps to reduce tear out. Uh, now, I, I also use this, this extension here, which is attached to the mitre gauge. And the, the reason for it, I get more area of contact the point of contact is much greater and it's much safer because sometimes you'll find this uh, backing block will tend to get pulled into there and you want to avoid that at all, in all cases so if you use this extension here it helps to control that. Uh, now always always work against rotation when you're using any woodworking tool. Uh, I once saw a young chap uh, using a, a radial arm saw and it had a rotating head and he was actually feeding the wood into the, the direction of rotation so he was heading for a serious accident because his hands the, the blade would have pulled the wood in and his hands would have gone and he'd lost fingers uh, so you must always work against rotation the rotation is here and we're moving this way uh, now I, I live in a, an area with a very dry atmosphere um, so I use gloves now gloves obviously won't, <laughs> won't uh, provide any uh, protection against injury but what it does it gives you control uh, of the wood of the workpiece uh, while you're working and I find that essential in the, particularly in this type of situation. Now um, what I found with this Freud router uh, bits it's a really a good system but uh, what you do is you, you work your, your um, the, the blade to 
so it's even with this top surface of your workpiece and that's your starting point and I found that if you remove that and you move this, the, the bit number two into the same height setting uh, it should be, it should be uh, the right match for the two pieces of wood. Uh, you might have to have a small adjustment but it shouldn't be too bad.